Owl Film Distribution Change the next few years, part three. Make sure to go back and watch parts one and two. So you're gonna see more money spent by the studios, the streamers on what has been traditionally reliable uh, international genres. So hearing this, I know a lot of people might be concerned that uh, you know we're not gonna see as many uh, projects from marginalized communities. I don't think that's the case. I think we are gonna see the same amount of green lights or maybe even more green lights because the demand for content is seemingly never ending. Uh, but I do think that Netflix is going to learn a lesson and spend less money on some of the projects they've been spending money on. Netflix has a reputation uh, for overspending a little bit on projects and they spend a lot of money up front. So I think they're going to do less of that. And uh, I think you're going to see the same amount of green lights for weird projects, niche, niche projects, but uh, the budgets just aren't going to be as big. And I think they're gonna shift more of their annual budget over to uh, more mainline uh, movies and television series that are just gonna appeal to a wider audience internationally. They're gonna pay more for movies with better cast. You're just gonna see this arms race in terms of you know, who can come out with the biggest AAA TV series and movies you know, packed with movie stars and uh, the cost of talent and the demand for big names is gonna continue to climb. And, uh, you know, you're just gonna see a huge arms race there because the sort of, uh, you know, you know, scuttlebutt or whatever you wanna call it that has arisen as Netflix uh, has taken the hit to their stock prices that they're paying all this money, but they don't really have the level of quality that say HBO Max does right now. So you're gonna see more focus on big names, you're gonna see less projects with just literally no name stars in it at all, or if those projects are there, uh, their budgets are just gonna be a lot lower. You're gonna see a lot more focus on stars. So the question that the writer, director, producer preparing for the future might have is, how do I get stars? And the answer is, write excellent content. You wanna look at the Venn diagram of what people want and you wanna put your project in the center of it, right? So uh, actors and directors want excellent material, right? Not your first at bat, they want excellent material. Uh, actors want incredible roles to play and distributors, streamers are going to spend the most on movies that are in the traditionally popular genres, action thriller, sci-fi, uh, horror and uh, so if you can write an excellent piece of material in one of those genres, you are maximizing your chances of your project getting uh, financed when it's ready. Uh, look for part four.